This is the third time I have tried to film this. Actually, no, it's the fourth time I've tried to film this unboxing video. Uh, first time I accidentally didn't record the sound. Second time I was about to record it, but noticed I had spilt something tomatoey down my top. And the third time I forgot the memory card. So fingers crossed, fourth time lucky. I'm just gonna set you down and then I'm gonna show you what went into August's So Hilly Jane boxes. Okay, so August's So Hilly Jane boxes were shipped about two weeks ago now. So they have been received by pretty much everyone and you guys have absolutely loved these boxes. So here is the luxury box. I've taken out the yellow tissue paper, but the theme this month is soft girl summer. So this is like a trending hashtag I saw on Instagram a couple of months ago. I sort of was like, what, what is a soft girl summer? You might've heard hot girl summer, which is about tiny bikinis, pool parties in Ibiza, that kind of thing. It's never really been me anyway. A soft girl summer is more about slowing down, connecting with nature, wearing beautiful floaty garments, riding a pastel coloured bike with a picnic basket, laying out a floral blanket, reading a good book in a meadow. That's the kind of vibe we're going for. I'm pretty certain most of you will be along the same lines as me. So every box has a magazine which explains a bit about the theme. There are makes in it from this month's fabrics to give you some instant inspiration as to what you can make with your fabrics. There's a tutorial for the fat quarters. We've got pattern picks from the fold line. We've got interviews with other amazing businesses. Lots of good inspiration in the magazine. So I'm gonna pop that down and I pick up the thing that fell on the floor so that I can show you that first. So every box came up with this little bag and inside are nine very sweet, teeny tiny little shirt buttons. They're kind of iridescent, pearly white shirt buttons. There's nine in each bag. And I, if you follow me on Instagram, head over, I filmed a little reel of me sorting out all the buttons. It took me three evenings to count nine buttons into all these little bags. We all love a bit of button sorting, but that was, was quite extreme. So every box has one of those. Then there's always a little sweet treat in the boxes. And this month we've got these pink and white mini vegan marshmallows. I sourced these to make sure that they were vegan or at least vegetarian. The whole sort of summer, the idea of melting marshmallows over campfires, making cookies, baking, that kind of thing was where the inspiration for the marshmallows came from. Pop that down. Every box also has a 100 meter reel of Gutterman thread to match the main fabric. Then the classic and luxury boxes always have a little extra gift from a small business, an independent business. And this month we have Nutmeg and Arlo. I love their logo, but I have to make sure it doesn't catch the light. It's a gold logo and it's washi tape. So let me open it up to show you. I use washi tape quite a lot in sewing. It's great because it doesn't stick as hard as like sellotape does. So if you want to stick together PDF patterns or make adjustments, I can't get it open, make adjustments to a paper pattern, Washi tape is great because you can stick it down. If you don't get it quite right, you can lift it up again. And it doesn't, yeah, it sticks, but it's not like a firm stick. I also use it a lot um, to make the seam allowance on the bed of my sewing machine a bit clearer, or if I need a bigger seam allowance than what my machine actually has. That's really useful as well. So this is this really cute floral, it's summer flowers, tulips, butterflies super cute little pale pink washi tape absolutely love it there are loads of other ways you can use washi tape as well so i've seen using it for marking the right or the wrong side of the fabric if it if the fabric isn't super clear which is the right or wrong side 
taping woven labels in place because you can sew right over washi tape and then just tear it away. So yeah, if you have any other ideas or any other ways that you use washi tape, pop it in the comments below. Then the fat quarters are so, so pretty. This is called Pastel Funfetti from Craft Cotton Company. And it just, they're so gorgeous. The colors are beautiful. Funfetti, obviously it looks like confetti. So I have made the bunting. So Tamlin from Sewed on the Time does a um, fat quarter tutorial for the magazine. And she did some really pretty scalloped bunting this month using this, um, which I have made and I'll be posting on my Instagram next week. Um, because reusable bunting, like how many times do you have a party or you just have people over into the garden for a barbecue or a little summer get together and a little bit of bunting goes a long way. I think it just makes the place look more, hopefully more put together. But yeah, really, really pretty pastel colours there. So that's the back quarters. Then the pattern is the new jump set pattern from the Avid Seamstress. This is a really lovely jumpsuit and dress pattern. So you get, it's a really good two for one pattern. It's really, really lovely. I definitely want to get this made. I like the design details where it's got this sort of straight edge across the top and then the grown on sleeves. It looks like it's going to be a really comfortable style. So yeah, definitely want to give that a go. Okay, the fabric in the luxury boxes is this absolutely beautiful linen chambray from Lady McElroy. There's three and a half meters. This was a heavy box. We just came under the two kilogram limit for posting. It was a bit, a bit touch and go, but we managed it. So it's so, so lovely. I have made a play suit out of this or a jumpsuit out of this. Not the one that in the box, I've made something a bit different, but I am gonna give the one in the box a go as well. It's lovely. It washes beautifully. It sews beautifully. It feels beautiful to wear. There is loads here to work with. Like it just goes on and on and on. I've unfolded this. I'm gonna have to fold it back up again now, but it's lovely. It's called Cruise. That is the name of the collection and the color is blueberry. I love it. I put a poll on Instagram a few months ago asking what people thought of having a plain fabric in the boxes every now and then. And the majority said yes. And it seems that having received the boxes, everyone has loved the plain fabric. So I will be including a few more plain fabrics in the future. Mostly we'll go for plain, uh, patterns, but there will be a few planes because you need a few plain garments in your wardrobe. You can really elevate them. You can make some really beautiful styles, but then they pair with all those other gorgeous print fabrics that you already have in your wardrobe so that you're not trying to find something to wear with that beautiful blouse or a gorgeous skirt and you need a plain top to go with it. We need some workhorses in our wardrobe. So that's what this one's gonna be. Okay, the classic and mini boxes. So the mini box has one meter of fabric. The classic box has two and a half meters of the same fabric. So it's a bigger version. Plus you get more fat quarters. Plus the classic box gets the washi tape as well. So yeah, we've got the washi tape. We've got the buttons. We've got four fat quarters, the magazine and the marshmallows, but the, but the fabric, let's put that down. The fabric is this really beautiful, sorry, it's all scrunched up already. It's called a vintage cotton. So it's kind of like a stone washed cotton, 100% cotton, but it has a linen-y feel to it. It's got this really lovely texture. I don't know if that's coming up on the screen at all, but again, so, so beautiful to wash, to sew, to iron, to press, to wear. I have made another pair of Heyday Dungarees from Waves and Wild. I have worn them so much. I wore them, they're pink, to go to see the Barbie movie. Very fortuitous that this month's box included a pink fabric, although maybe we're a bit late with the Barbie core style. Um, but 
it's lovely. It's a real soft, it feels like a grown up pink. It's not a really bright in your face bubblegum pink. It's a very sort of soft rose colored pink and it is lovely. I have a few off cuts of this that will be going up on the outlet shop in a month or two. So if, uh, if you want to have a look at that, that's where that'll be. So yes, this is beautiful. And I love both the garments that I've made in these fabrics. So that was August's So Holy Jane boxes. The website is open until the 25th of August if you want to get your first box in September. If you are already subscribed, you don't need to do anything to keep your subscription going. It rolls over every month for as long as you want it to. But if you have seen these and you think, oh, I like the idea of that. You know, kids have gone back to school. You can pick up your sewing again. You've got a bit more time for yourself. Autumn's coming. I feel very inspired to sew in autumn and I think you will as well. The fabrics are so so beautiful. I am looking, I'm looking at them right now. The luxury fabric has actually been, actually the luxury and the main fabric for the classic boxes has just been delivered today. <sighs> so gorgeous. I cannot wait to get them sewn up as well. So have a lovely day and I will see you all really soon. I'm taking a bit of a break from YouTube over August. This is a little one-off video, but I will be back in September with lots more amazing sewing content and videos for you all. Have a lovely rest of your summer and I'll see you all really soon. Bye.